What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best dribble moves for big men in NBA 2K19. So to start with the moving crossovers, I actually chose normal 2 and normal 3 is also a very good moving crossover but normal 2 is a tiny bit faster. And the same thing goes for the behind the back, I did end up choosing normal 2 instead of 3 because it's a little faster, but if you do look at the animation for normal 3, it's not bad at all, like normal 2 is faster. But at the same time, normal 3 might create a little bit more space on the fast break. But I'm going for speed in this case, so I'm going to choose normal 2. For the spins, I looked at normal 2 through 5, and they're all pretty similar. But I feel like 5 is a little bit better than the others because the spin animation looks so fast. For the moving hesitation, I ended up choosing normal 3 over normal 2 because it looks more like a hesitation. Like normal 2, it kind of looks predictable that you're doing a hesitation. But normal 3 looks like an actual hesitation where it looks like you could be crossing it over after the fact. So normal 3 will be a lot better because you can actually fake your defender out with that. For centers, the standing size up combo doesn't matter too much, but I ended up going with normal 5. Same thing with the moving size up combo, it doesn't matter that much. But anyway, I did end up trying out normal 1 and normal 7, and I do think that normal 1 is a little bit better, but it doesn't really matter which one you choose for this one. I just go for what looks the best. The size of package doesn't matter that much, but I did end up choosing normal 1. This double hesitation right here may seem like it doesn't matter that much, but this can create so much space. So to do this move, you have to hold R1 and then flick the right stick to your ball hand twice, and your guy will do this hop or he creates kind of a lot of space so from that you can either drive to the hoop or you could maybe draw two defenders on you and then pass to one of your teammates for the double crossover it doesn't matter that much because if you're a center and you're dribbling in place you honestly might lose the ball but i did end up going with normal two and same thing for the between the legs as you can see in this animation the center he doesn't really keep the ball in his hands like that well like he doesn't lose the ball but he kind of hops to the side, he almost loses it, as you can see in the animation right there. So for the double behind the backs, they honestly all look the same. Like if you look at normal 2 right here, and then you look at basic 1 right there, they, they're pretty much identical. Like I don't see a big difference in that. Plus, you might lose the ball doing this, so it doesn't really matter which one you choose. For the triple threat styles, this doesn't matter what you choose. I would just pick a random one because... They barely do anything. They're all so similar. And then last but not least for the triple threat size ups, I chose normal 26. This doesn't matter what you choose because it's not like you're actually going to be dribbling like that. And I mean, if you do, I would just go through this and choose the one that looks the coolest. And that's why I chose normal 26. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers. We are at 1911 right now, so we're 89 subscribers away from 2,000, which is crazy because the other day I just hit 1.5k. I've been gaining 100 subscribers each day for like the past three days. Thank you guys for all of the support and thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.